It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC. And even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Munich, Germany, the Ghost. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, big left hand there. And they separate. Great posture control by his opponent. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. It's the 
elbow there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Hands high, hands high. Oh, misses with the jab. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right hand on point. You can't take many of those, you better check. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Working out of that southpaw stance. Punch over the top. There's no tell on that leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots get blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arm. Waving it off. It should be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and you're throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Beautiful kick. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence, age, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? He's very tricky now when he throws that body kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that ball. Right, single collar tie now. Beautiful body kick. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ten seconds now in round one. He's got the turn in that kick. Round two next. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Got the single collar ties. Try to establish that jab. That kick blocked by Lee. 
look at him with his hip to that kid. Oh, there's a trip to get the takedown. Back to the feet now. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big head kick lands. Beautiful punch. Right hand upstairs. Ooh, what a head kick. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. That is how you scramble, folks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big punch from the clinch. Real nice body kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, just right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action, and it worked in this instance. Oh, man, head kick lands. Nice defense there, huge block. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. All right, he engages in the single collar ties. Big punch land. Ooh. Beautiful hand skills here, the right and the left. Nice leg kick. You can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. And he continues to work the body here. Lee gets hit with a kick. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was in a little bit. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, nice knee to the head forward there. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Oh, a huge block there. Takedown attempt late the round, and he gets it. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Stay focused, okay? The one who's
striking to be a little bit sharper. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, collar tie. Checks the leg kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch by Lee. End of the clinch. Now, let's see if they're gonna try to fight the takedown or Watch for him to employ a dirty boxing strategy. And there comes the separation now. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Head kick partially blocked. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. That's a big strike right there. Oh, back to the well with that elbow. That one landed well. And he continues to work the body here. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. And they separate. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick. Nasty leg kick, you gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting them to slow down and fight at your pace. And they separate. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Way to hide that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, not sure if he's lighter on He's hooked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right under the elbow, the body keep playing. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Nice. Separate. Towers with the left hook, nicely done there. Visibly limping here. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, he'll engage in a single oh, useful oh, trip to get the takedown here in the clinch. Back to the feet now. Takedown defense holds up. Just be a matter of time. And that will do it. Wow! What a fight! Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight.
All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 20 seconds of the third round, he's going to win my tap out. We will be a team show. The go! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.